welcome everyone to the instructor's channel. Here we are again for our weekly video. So today's topic is reflective practice. Reflection helps us to develop our own learning and teaching framework. A real reflective practice needs another person as mentor or professional supervisor who can ask appropriate questions to ensure that the reflection goes somewhere and does not get bogged down in self-justification or self-indulgence. It also helps to consciously develop our own repertoire of strategies and techniques to draw upon in our teaching. It also helps us to adjust and respond to issues and problems by investigating and understanding what underlies these issues and taking appropriate action. Reflection also helps us to become aware of our beliefs and assumptions about learning and teaching so that we understand why we do what we do and what might need to change. Another advantage is that it builds trust with the students since they see that their feedback is valued and taken seriously through changes to teaching. Brookfield suggests four lenses to conduct a reflective practice. Our autobiographies as learners, our colleagues' experiences and perceptions, our students' eyes, and the theoretical literature. So as we said, our first suggested lenses are our autobiographies as learners. So by examining our own learnings through reflective blogs or journals, diaries, concept mapping, and critical incident surveys, that will help us in our reflective practice. The second suggested lenses are called our colleagues' experiences and perceptions. So by hearing your colleagues' experiences, you are allowing yourself to check, to reframe and to broaden your own theories of practice and to consider new ideas. The third lenses are our students' eyes. Those allows us to check student understanding and find out whether they are hearing what we intend them to hear. And finally, the theoretical literature. Well, this literature can help you to extend your understanding and appreciation of your own learning and teaching practice by offering an interpretative framework. It does also provide multiple perspectives on similar situations. And let's also consider the self-assessment tool, which is a constructive strategy for improving the effectiveness of your teaching or training, and which is accompanied by professional growth strategies like peer coaching. Consider videotaping and watching your own teaching as an effective tool in your own self-assessment. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave your comments and suggestions for future topics below. We'll answer to each of you. And before you go, do subscribe to the channel right now. You don't want to miss any upcoming content. See you next week. And in the meantime, we'll leave you with two other videos that you may consider watching as well. Happy training, instructors!